so I am here with Eric Sanders. And you, what film did you? <laughs> Give me a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, we have two films in the festival. Oh, awesome. It's a bit of a coup. Uh, one is called Ante Mortem, which my collaborator Marco Schalma wrote and uh, directed. I produced it. The other one's called Karaoke King, which Marco directed. And uh, I wrote and produced with Marco. Karaoke King. Yeah. This sounds very interesting. Yeah. Tell me about yeah. that. Yeah. So we were very inspired by the idea of uh, sort of beaten down karaoke performers who were on their last legs. And um, we wrote this sort of horror, thriller, comedy about this karaoke singer who winds up getting transported into this realm where he has to keep singing a song over and over in order to basically escape from purgatory. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 very uh, sort of dark and fun and twisted. But a twist on karaoke that I never would have imagined yeah. possible. Yeah, yeah, because you know you can always take it in the sort of uh, ironic comedy direction, and yeah. it, it it it's funny, but it's 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 a more sort of sad, twisted version of of that kind of story. Okay. Yeah. And what's your other film about? Ante Mortem. Yeah. So Marco wrote this film that's about um, a woman who is. Uh, basically has a plot to get her ex-husband's money and it's a, a live burial scam that sort of goes horribly awry. Oh, no. So again, very funny, very, very, very dark, um, very black comedy. You, you like your twisted films. <laughs> you have a brand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's the, the funny thing about having two films in the festival is that they're, they're very different, but they sort of show two sides of the same coin. It's yeah. definitely a sensibility. Yeah. Well, best of luck in the festival. Um, anything interesting happened while you were filming either one of these films? Um, yeah, actually, during Ante Wardum, which we were shooting in a cemetery, uh, it was a one-day shoot. It's a short film, so we had all day in the cemetery in Queens. We had an open grave dug. We had a, a tomb, you know, tombstone, everything. One cable that we needed in the middle of the shoot, we couldn't find. We had to shut down production in the middle of the day. Someone had to run to a store all the way back in Manhattan. Oh, Two hours lost in the middle of a day where we were yeah. losing light. That's what, you know, welcome to indie filmmaking, yeah, right? Yeah, no, exactly. The um, so we point. finished the, the final shot as the sun was going down, and we had to bump it up in post-production to make it look like it was still yeah. day. But that's, you know, the, the lesson that's is... That's the beauty of it. <laughs> the lesson is check your cables before you go to the set. Yes, no, I think we can all agree on that one. It will destroy your production. Oh, no. Well, yeah. I mean, it sounds like it still got made and everything turned out great, but... But there's one shot that it might look a little darker. Just ignore <laughs> that one, yeah. Well, thank you so much, and best of luck in the festival. Thank you very much. Thank you.